In a previous video, we introduced you to sending and receiving email using the free email service provided by Google, Gmail. In that video, we covered creating and setting up an account, the different mailboxes, sending and receiving email, and adding basic attachments. In this video, we will cover some of the more advanced features on offer, as well as explain some of the new features the Gmail team has recently added. To get started, let's log into Gmail. Gmail has added two obvious changes. The first is the important label. We'll cover how labels work in a moment, but for now just remember that this label works by intuitively guessing which of your new emails are most important, based on which emails you read and reply to most often. These emails are marked with this yellow tag. The second main new feature is the new inbox bar. Gmail has created five new ways for you to view and interact with your inbox. As you'll find, the longer you have an email account, the more and more clogged and cluttered it can become. Many people end up with thousands of emails, many of which remain unread for a long time. Click on the different options to see which works best for your needs. Now that we've explained a few of the new features Gmail recently released, let's look at some of the classic features we should know about. Since Gmail is created by Google, the world's largest search engine, it makes sense that they offer an integrated search function. One of the great things about email is that we now no longer have to delete emails. Gmail gives all users free online storage for their emails. It's very hard to use up all your storage, so don't worry about deleting your messages from your inbox. To search for an important email which you've stored in your Gmail, type their name into the search bar, then click Search Mail or press Enter. This will bring up all the messages which contain that word, either in the person's email address, but also in the body of the email. It can help to recall roughly when the email was sent or received to help you find the exact email you're looking for. We touched on labels when we spoke about the important label Gmail now automatically adds. Labels work much like folders do in organising general documents on your computer. It might be useful to create a label for emails received from friends. To create a label, click on the gear icon in the top right corner. Then click Mail Settings. Select Labels, Create New, then name your label and click Create. Now, go back to your inbox. Click in the Select box to the left of your message then click on the drop-down menu under Labels. Then click on the label you wish to give to that message. Any new labels you create appear in the left column of the Gmail interface. To view only the messages with a particular label, just click on the Label button. In addition to labelling, Gmail allows you to move emails to your archive and spam folders, as well as to delete emails permanently. Additionally, you can mark an email as read, if, for example, you don't want or need to open an email, but you don't want it to appear in your inbox as unread, just click on it and click on the Mark as Read button. Using labels can be a quick and easy way to manage and file your inbox. One of the key words in the new era of the internet is conversation. More and more applications and services are making it possible to use chat and messaging features from directly within their program. Gmail is no different. Gmail offers Gmail chat. As you send and receive emails from Gmail users, Gmail adds them to your list of contacts. If you know a friend uses Gmail but they're not yet a contact, you can invite them to chat using the Add or Invite bar above your contact list. When a friend is online, you will see a green or orange dot next to their name. As with Skype or Facebook chat, simply click on their name to begin chatting. In the previous video, we looked at sending, receiving and replying to an email. Forwarding an email is a useful way to send an email you've received onto someone else. To do so, click on the email and next to reply, click forward. Type in your recipient's email address in the address box, then add a new subject if you wish. If you don't, the previous subject will remain, but the letters FWD will appear, indicating that the message is a forwarded message. In the body of the email, you have the option to add a new message at the top of the message being forwarded. When ready, Click Send. Sometimes it's useful to customise your Gmail settings. Go to Settings by clicking on the gear icon. The first page you see is the General Settings page. 
Here you can do a number of things, such as add a picture to your Gmail profile. This picture will be visible to anyone on Gmail who receives an email from you, or if you chat with them. Click on Select a Picture, then navigate to where your picture is saved on your computer. Click on it, then click Open to upload it. Gmail will ask you to crop the picture. When done, click Apply Changes. You can also do things like add a digital signature to the end of your emails. This can be useful if you use Gmail for work and wish to add your contact details to your emails. Once again, these are just a few of the most important features in Gmail. The Gmail team is constantly adding new features as they work to make using email more efficient, streamlined and easy. If you ever get stuck, there are a number of useful resources available in MailHelp. Happy emailing!